Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Ant Will Plays. Today we're playing Choices Big Sky Country. Now, in the last video, the Oakley brothers were fighting about what? I have a bad feeling of I had a I have a feeling I know what it is. Something's up. Well, I don't know what it is, but I have a feeling I know what it is, but I'm not gonna tell you guys. Unless it Unless they show us. So, with that being said, let's dive in. A fight between the Oakley brothers complicates life on the ranch, as does a farm hand defecting to the Mendozas. Okay. Okay, somebody had to make a banjo. I can't get any sound on here. Okay. So, anyway. Chapter 4. Helping Hands. You've just arrived back at, the Oak back at Oakley Ranch to find Sawyer and Duke grappling on the front step. Grah! Sawyer flips Duke over, pinning him down with a knee to the chest. Don't forget, big brother. I wrangle Broncos for a living. Oh, you want to play that game now? You look around frantically as the two square off. You grab a nearby hose and turn the faucet on full blast. Both of you cool off. Hearing the noise, Cliff comes out charging out of the house. What in tarnation is happening? Oh, that's Cliff. Never mind. He takes one look at the soaking wet brothers and starts laughing. <laughs> that's one way to break you two up. Wish I'd thought of well, that years ago. Now, Sawyer, sit over here, and Duke over there. The brothers reluctantly sit on opposite sides of the porch. So, which one of you is going to tell me what in the world is going on here? Duke's been talking to a lawyer about selling the ranch. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Duke! Why would you want to sell your own your family's ranch? It's like it's like selling your family's your family's picture or TV or house or building or money or I don't know. Oh boy, he's doing what? I just want to put some feelers out there, you know, in case we have to uh, go that route. That route is not an option. <laughs> You're a traitor to this family, Duke. I'm the one, I'm the only one looking out for this family. This might not be my place, but Duke shouldn't, shouldn't have kept it a secret. You're right, it's not your place. Don't talk to Anthony like that. Especially when he's just pointing out the obvious. Let's not get sidetracked, okay? This is serious. We all know the ranch is in, in big financial trouble. It is. And if we don't pay the bank the $10,000 we owe them by the end of the month, we're toast. Are you serious? When are we going to come up with $10,000? We've got, we still got time. We don't have to jump straight to selling on the place. Yeah, and how do you expect we earn that kind of mo money when we can't keep our farm hands? 
what's this about our farm hands? Ed. The brothers share a look before Sawyer clears his throat. Joe. Joe left this morning. She's working for the Mendozas. Cliff's whole body trembles, his face turning bright red. Those Mendozas. I'll never let Anne Marie be there. The he be the last one standing. No way. No how. They can take Joe, Curly, and whoever else we got. But we ain't going nowhere. Look, we'll handle this, Dad. It'll be okay. We don't want you to get worked up. Yeah, remember your heart? Let's just take a step back and discuss things. Fine. We'll go inside and talk privately. Some, what's this about his heart? Huh. I don't know. Cliff glares at you, then heads inside with Duke Sawyer. With Duke Sawyer throws you in a, an apologetic look. Sorry about all this, Anthony. I'll come find you when we're done. Yeah. Good luck. This isn't my place to be, so I'm out. Sawyer follows the others inside, leaving you on the porch. You wander over, to, over toward the pasture and run into Curly, who was clearly trying to eavesdrop from the from around the corner. Anthony, hey, hi, how you doing? It's a, it's okay, Curly. I know you. I know you were listening. That obvious, huh? You're many things, but subtle is not one of them. I'll take that as a compliment. It is. But unfortunately, that means we both know about the, about the $10,000 the Yokeleys owe the bank. Yeah, I didn't really know how to handle that. Same. I knew they had cash issues, but yeesh, this is bad. Like, out of a job bad. What if we went over to the... The Mendoza Ranch. Maybe we could help smooth things over. Cross enemy lines? Wander into the belly of this beast? Simply walk into Mordor? What? Hear me out. If we talk to Joe and figure out why she left, maybe we can convince her to come back. Joe? It won't fix everything, but it's a start. We would get a lot of praise if we got her back. Plus, you know, she'd be back. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I'm in. You hop over. You hop into Curly's car, and he drives you over to the Mendoza Ranch. You gaze in awe at the perfectly manicured tree-lined driveway leading past the freshly painted barns to a lavish ranch house. Wow. Tell me about it. They just built a, just built, they just built all new outbuildings too. We're talking, we're talking state of the art everything. Meanwhile, the Oakley barn is falling apart. We're gonna, we're gonna work on. We were going, we were gonna work on it this week. In fact, haven't started yet though. Gonna be a lot harder without Joe. Speaking of which, a group of farmhands rounds the corner and Joe immediately spots you. What are you two doing here? Hey, Joe, long time no see. I'm not gonna yell at her. Everyone back at the Oakley Ranch is so sad you left. Please, please, can you come back? It's true, Jay. How could, how could you just ditch us like that? And what's going to happen to Curly and Joe's chili cook-off slash karaoke nights? I didn't want to leave. Wait, what do you mean you didn't want to leave? Just then, Juliet comes out of the house onto the porch followed by two other people. Hey, y'all. What are they doing here? They look like a couple of trespassers to me. Maybe not. 
curly, but this one looks like trouble. This is Anthony. Anthony, this is my mom, Anna Marie, and my dip and my brother Pierce. Or Percy. We're just here to talk to Joe. You mean our newest farmhand? Quite a catch, no? I'm not trying to cause any trouble. But why but why leave it all? Joel looks down at her boots. The Mendozas the Mendozas offered me twice my old salary. I couldn't turn that down. Not when my not when I'm trying to save and save to get my degree. Twice? Joe is a valuable employee, and we're happy to pay her what she's worth. It's called Oakley Business. Something the Oakleys. It's called business. Something the Oakleys have never had a knack for. Hmm. It's poaching. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves for stooping so low. Ha! Huh. Like Cliff wouldn't do this exact same thing if he couldn't afford could afford it. You don't know that. Oh, I know it. Is this about the feud? Maybe it's time you two call a truce. You know, you know, agree to stop poaching each other's employees. Maybe even work together. Oh, and I suppose we should all hold hands and do do yoga together while we're at it. That's not how yoga works, Percy. Exactly. My point is, this is business, and if the Oakleys can't handle it, it's not our problem. Well, this was an awesome and totally not useless exercise. I'm sorry, Curly. It's just for the best. I'll see you around. Yeah, see you around. You and Curly head back toward the car. So that didn't go as planned. Yeah, they take their grudges real seriously out here. The beef with the Oakleys and the and the, and the Mendozas goes back a fi back a hundred and fifty years. I heard. Just as you reach the car, you hear a voice behind you. Anthony Curly, wait up. You turn to find Juliet running up to you with a smile on her face. Listen. My mom and Percy are about to head into town, so I have the place to myself. Which means, I can give you a tour of the ranch. That sounds nice, but are you sure? Definitely, and if you're lucky, we can dip into our private or bond cellars. You had me at tour, and also at bourbon, and really at dip. What do you say, anything you in? This is your chance to explore the Mendoza Ranch and get closer to Juliet. Alright. And plus you scoot anyway. <sighs> Let's do it. Awesome. Let's start with the kitchen. Curly claps his hands as you follow Juliet inside. I've always wanted to check Check out the nicest kitchen in the county. Excuse me. Just whose side are you on? My stomachs, Anthony. Always my stomachs. Julia leads you into a fancy kitchen with rustic trimmings. Here we are. Gotta say, this is nice. Uh, Curly, you doing okay? I think you finally rendered him speechless. I didn't know that was possible. Curly finally seems to snap out of it and starts wandering around the room, touching everything. Can I cook something? Let me cook something. I'll go cook something. Sorry, Curly, but my mom will definitely know you were here if you make something. But here, have a peach. She tosses him the fruit and he takes a big bite. Dude, for the small bites? My god, even the peaches are better here. 
Don't get too carried away, man. Now, where do you guys want to want to go next? The game room or the library? Hmm. Not a library. Nice choice. This that's one of my favorite rooms in the house. Julia leads you into a beautiful old library filled with hundreds of books. Holy murder mystery. Don't but don't be Robin. Robin says weird stuff like that. You're like, Holy masculinian Batman. <laughs> it's pretty nice, right? My mom's a big collector. Don't suppose you've got any Star Wars books? Mostly westerns. Ma loves anything with a gunslinger. Seriously? How about Julia? How about you, Julia? You a big reader? Reader? Not really. Although I did find find all my ma's age inappropriate romance novels when I was twelve. What? What? <sighs> Don't show your kids that at a young age, people. Julia walks by one of the shelves, running her fingers along the spines of the books. These books are one reason Ma's always been so close to Percy. I think books have always been his thing. Is Percy as annoying as he seems? You don't know the half of it. And he's only gotten worse since he's got his business degree. But even growing up, he was kind of an in, in, insufferable jerk. Always telling me I wasn't as smart as I could... As, I wasn't as smart or as good as him. Well, that's just factually in, inaccurate. You'd think someone with a business degree could see that. Would it help if I definitely said that he's the worst? Because he is. Julia laughs, then walks over to the doorway. Are you guys ready for the main event? Boar bond sellers. Boar bond sellers. Boar bond. Oh my goodness. I think that's a yes. Alright, alright, follow me. The boar bond seller has, has stone walls and neat rows of wooden barrels. Julia shows you a shows you to a small tasting bar with leather stools and a mini barrel with a tap on on top of the bar. At last, I've made it to the inner sanctum. Are you hoping to refine your moonshine skills, Curly? Refine, please. You don't make you don't mess with perfection. No offense, Curly, but there's a reason our Bourbon Barbon is the best in the state, and that's the secret recipe. Julia pours three glasses of Bourbon from the mini barrel and puts them on this bar. Curly reaches for one. Hang on now. First, I've got to give you the Bourbon talk. Well, there's... well, what's there to know? It's made of mostly corn with some rye, barley, and wheat. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Moonshine. But how long is it is it aged in the barrels? Straight bourbon, that is. Isn't it... Two years? Correct. I have a feeling. How'd you know that? I'm a man of many talents. Your prize is, you can be the first taster. Julia smiles and pushes a glass toward you. It smooths and smoky and goes down with a pleasant glowing warmth. This is delicious. I could drink this all day, every day. I'm sure to say it's strong. Thank you. 
I want to go for some national awards next. How long have you been making it? My dad started or started doing it and he taught me and Percy before he passed. Percy's not as into it, so it's mainly me with support from Ma. I feel like I can keep it growing. Maybe it can become my special cur contribution to the family. Or something like that, I don't know. Are you kidding? You should totally do that. Yeah. Become a Bourbon m magnate. Open your own dis distillery. Rule with an iron fist. We'll see. Curly downs the last of his drink, then slams the glass on the bar. Okay, as fun as this is, I need to get the restroom. Back in a jiffy. Julia points to the way, and Curly scoots out, leaving the two of you alone. Another? Sure. Julia steps closer to you as she pours you another bourbon. Thanks for the tour, Julia. This is really cool. Thank you for coming. I know things between the ranches can get tense, but I like spending time with you. She smiles. She smiles at you, her eyes twinkling. You lean in and kiss her. It's slow and gentle at first, but then her hands slide around your waist. Juliet. Giggling, Julia pushes you back against the barrels, her legs pressing between your thighs. Her body off against yours. Oh my goodness. How am I killing you? You lean forward, kissing. She leans forward, kissing you again. You slide a hand down her back and pull her in. And she lets out a little moan. When suddenly you hear the sound of Curly's footsteps padding back down the stairs. Julia pulls away, pressing her forehead against seeing her forehead again her forehead to yours. To be continued. Definitely. As Curly re enters the room, you and Julia suddenly step apart, smiling at each other conspirationally. Alright, this one has been great. We should probably get back to the ranch, right? Yeah, I guess so. Thanks so much for the tour, Juliet. See you guys later. With one last hug, you and Curly hit head back to his car. Curly drops you off at the ugly house and you walk inside. You hear quiet voices in the kitchen. Someone's gotta have some new ideas around here. You see Cliff, Sawyer, and Duke sitting around the table with serious expressions. Sorry, am I interrupting? No, it's okay. Maybe you can help us. Losing Joe is a blow. We were gonna renovate the old bar this week so we can grow our business, with, but without her... We can't even repair it enough to make it usable. Let alone give it... Let alone give it the full renovation it needs. Looks like you're in a tight spot. I really wish there was something I could do. I'm afraid it's too late. Which is why I'd just like all of us to be seriously consider the possibility of sell. No way. I say, who needs Joe? We can fix the old barn ourselves. Sawyer stands up and looks and looks to Duke. Are you in or out? Duke lets out a long, low grumble. And I don't know what we're doing or how, but we're doing it. Let's go. You, Sawyer, and Duke walk past the large cow barn where the milking is done. So what needs to be done? This this barn seems to be pretty in pretty good shape. That's not the barn we need to work on. That is. Oh. Is that much of a looker in hell? But if we can fix it up, we could get more livestock 
expand our operations and maybe make some headway in paying off the bank. Exactly. You reach the old barn and step inside. Yikes! Just yikes! Do I even want to know what that smell is? Probably not. It's cow poop, isn't it? The aisles are, he are heaped high with old decomposing straw and dirt. Floorboards are missing and the cobwebs are thick. So the, f so the first thing we need to do is shovel out these floors and repair the missing boards. If you do you want to help me shovel or drive the track or drive the tractor with Duke to take the piles of stuff away? I'm driving the tractor. All right, come with me. You head outside with Duke, and he points you to a huge track. Oh my goodness! Duke helps you up onto the, onto a big tractor with a front scoop on it. He climbs up to and stands behind you. Put the clutch all the way down and turn the key. You do... Excuse me. You do... You do... And the tractor roars... Roars to life. Got it. Nice. Now put it in first gear and head toward the barn. You nudge the stick shift forward and to the left and ease up on the clutch as you give it some gas. There you go. The tractor starts rolling forward. And we're off. Woohoo! You drive the tractor toward the barn and come to a stop in front of the growing pile of straw and dirt that Sawyer is shoveling. Okay. Use this lever here to toward the scooper, and then drive forward as you left. You push the lever, then start to drive forward toward the pile of debris. Lower the scooper, right? You try to lower the scooper, but it hits the ground hard. Whoa there. Oops. Sorry. It's fine. Just try again to lift the scooper this time. You try a couple more times until you finally got it right. Now it now take it over there to the compose pit. You maneuver the tractor back to the compose pit where you dump, dump the straw and dirt. What now? Now do that about fifty more times. Oh. Over the next few hours, the three of you work until the floors are repaired and the debris is cleared away. As it gets starts getting dark, the three of you pause to appreciate your handiwork. Wow, to be honest, I didn't think we could pull it off. It really does look a thousand times better. I guess it's time to call it a day. We could, or... Or what? We could really go wild, spruce it up, and make it the most amazing bar in the country. Really, give the mimosas a run for their money. And at night, we have lights, paint, and moment momentum. What do you say? Some choices have long-term effects on backgrounds. Continue to renovate to unlock a fancy state-of-the-art barn for the rest of the... This is the book. Plus, you'll get to know Sawyer and Duke better in exclusive scenes. Let's make this bar amazing. I say, let's do it. Yes, I'll go get the scaffolding and paint from the maintenance shed. We're really doing this, huh? Right. Sawyer so brings the scaffolding and gets to work setting it up while you and Duke open the paint. You set up the light and get started splashing your first brush on the paint, paint of the wall. This is going to look so good. We've been talking about getting this 
this barn renovated for so long I can't wait I'm thinking we should start on opposite sides and work back toward each other. What do you think? Yeah, it makes sense. Anthony, who do you want to work with? I'll work with Duke. Let's start up here. You climb up the scaffolding to work with Duke on the far side of the barn. Each bright slash of paint on the old wood improves it. This is going to look so good. Plus, that's it's strangely calming, you know. Yeah, sometimes you just need to do something that has a clear, measurable effect. You do it, and things are immediately better. What do you mean? I know what you mean. Nah, you don't. But that's a good thing. I had to grow up real quick, and I wouldn't wish that on anyone. What happened, if you don't mind me asking? Me and Brooklyn's mama... Well, we were still in high school when we had her. What? And I don't regret my little girl one bit. But we went from thinking about thinking about what to wear to homecoming to how to pay for diapers. We weren't ready. I can't even imagine. My point is, there's no simple switch you can flip to make life easier as a teenage parent or as the parent of a teenager for that matter so something like painting is painting the barn is a great mental vacation and hey it'll hopefully improve the value of the property are you really thinking of selling the ranch it seems like it it seems like it means so much to your family look so look Sawyer and my dad, they're dreamers, idealists, but sooner or later, reality's gonna come knocking. I just want them to be prepared when that happens. You glance over at Sawyer hard at work on the other side of the barn. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, enough of this sad sack talk. You need some more paint over there? Yes, please. You consider Duke thoughtfully and he, as he fills your can. So what was the reason you left the ranch? There are a million reasons, but the big one is having a kid at 18. I wanted a better life for her. Even when it c became too hard for us to stay together as a family, I still tried to give Brooklyn everything. You can see how much he cares about her. This place is a huge gift. Maybe if you show her that's, that it's more than just a place neither of you you wants to be, Brooklyn will come around eventually. He smiles genuinely, genuinely hopeful. Yeah, maybe. I'll keep that in mind. Later, Sawyer comes over with some ham homemade sandwiches you all refuel before getting back to work. You join Slayer at his end of the barn on this time. You know, I always love painting. Just a gallon of paint and a brush can make such a huge difference. Yeah, plus it's definitely better than shoveling a rotten straw. When I was younger, my parents let me paint my bedroom any color I wanted, and I picked bright yellow. Really? And then a few months later, I painted it neon green, then baby blue. And your parents never said anything? I hope, I hope they said it was my room, you know, and it could do what I wanted. It was great. I felt like I was in control of my own little world for the first time. Kind of wish I f still felt that way sometimes. I know what you mean. I tried that one last that one summer in the mill in middle school and dyed my hair blue. No? No. What did your dad say? Nothing. He just immediately got the electric razor and razor out. But for that hour when I had blue hair I felt independent, powerful, free. 
even after I after I shaved my hair off, I knew that I knew I had that power inside me still. Exactly. So I leans over to refill his paint bucket and a few drops splash onto your hands. Hey. Sorry, let me wipe that up. He grabs a rag and takes your hand holding as he wipes most of the paint off. As he's holding your hand, he glances up and catches your eye. Okay, nope. Pull my hand away. Thanks, I've got it. You pull your hand back, wiping the last mess of the paint off. At this rate, more paint will end up on, on our bodies than the wall. Then you better get more control over your paintbrush, mister. By the time the sun starts, peaking, starts to peak over the mountains, the barn is finally finished. The three of you step back together to admire your work in the first morning race. We were working on it all night. Wow. We did it. Admit it, Duke. The barn looks fantastic. I didn't think we could do the whole thing in one night, but what do you know? You all hug each other, giddying with the accomplishment. Pulling away, Sawyer and Duke look at each other and smile. Thanks, big bro. Of course, kid. Anytime. Now, I don't know about you all, but I'm ready for some sleep. Right after we milk the cows. Can't Curly and Dallas handle it? Nope. Come on. Do you need me? Nah, we got it. It'll go quick. You go back to the barn. Go back and get some sleep. Thanks. Doing that all night? Yeah, I need sleep. You head back to the house and get a couple hours of sleep. Some time later, Sawyer calls you down to the kitchen. He holds a phone out for you. It's Larry the mechanic. Hello? You talked to Larry for a few minutes before hanging up the phone. You go outside and find Sawyer working on the well, one, one of the fences. He immediately stops when you when you, when you see uh, when you see you approaching. So, what did Larry say? He's bringing my car out. It's all fixed up, and I shouldn't have any trouble getting to California from here. Glad to hear it. It's been great to have your help around here. But I know you have big plans. Thanks again, Sawyer, for everything. You're very welcome. We'll miss you around here. You turn away from Sawyer toward the life you were heading to, away from the life you were running from, and stop. Actually, I'm not going. I, I knew it. The story had to go on sometime. What? I'm going to stay here and take Joe's place on the ranch. You decide to stay at the ranch. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter of Big Sky Country. This chapter was... Confusing, weird, and I, and I totally called it, but it was, it was okay. Alright, next week, next week we're, we're getting to some new choices books. Can't wait. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Share this with your friends, comment below what you think of the video, and if you want to get notified of all the videos I put up on my channel, just hit the notification button next to the subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video.